Doctor, when it comes to GMOs, how much today do we know about potential effects to our health? There's a tremendous amount of data that's accumulating. Almost every week we'll see a new peer-reviewed scientific study that points out another area of discrepancy as far as the safety. So that we have a lot of correlations. One of the problems that we have from a scientific standpoint is we don't have a good control unit or control group because we have such tremendous contamination of the GMOs in our food. So with 80% of our foods containing genetically engineered ingredients, uh, we have to go on statistics. Now we can do that, and we do it all the time where, where we're in this situation, but it would be nice to have a control group like they had with tobacco, for instance. But the correlations are all extremely high. They're 0 0.98 to 0.99 for uh, cause-effect relationship, even though correlation isn't causation. When you get uh, up to 32 diseases, that that's the only fit that we have is with the GMO crops or the glyphosate that 85% are engineered to, to tolerate. There has to be something there. It should send up a red flag. And the question to ask is, why haven't the valid safety studies been conducted? Because the only two studies that we have now that meet all of the scientific criteria would be the study of, of Carmen and, and Vlieger, the five-month feeding study from weaning to market on the, the pigs, and the two-year study with the rats that uh, Giles Eric Cyrilini's group conducted in uh, France. All of the other studies uh, fail to meet the scientific criteria for validity of that data. In fact, there's a recent study that's just come out showing the contamination of control rations for the rats that the industry has used to determine safety of their product, showing that it also contains the genetically engineered proteins and the glyphosate or glufosinate, uh, the same as they're supposedly testing for safety again. So that it's, the, uh, the question that should be asked is, why don't we have those safety studies? Why are we limited to just those two, and especially when those two show that they're such extreme uh, potential problems that, uh, and yet nobody wants to undertake that. There's tremendous pressure not to do it, and uh, it's actually prohibited by the companies.